everybody. I am off to take Bowen to go see an expat who's built himself an amazing life just outside of the city. It takes about 40 minutes to get there from the city itself. So it's nicely located, provincial town, but really beautiful apparently. And I can't wait to go see this. I am on my way now. Here we go. I've arrived and David here, finally, finally, we get to meet because we've talked and he's a friend of Texas Filipinos. So, you know, I've been waiting a long time to get this opportunity to come and see you and actually see what you've got yourself into here in Tigbawan because yes. we're always looking for the best places to live just outside of the city, you know, where a lot of people are very interested in that. They don't want to be right in the middle of it, but we'd love to be just, just outside. And this place is perfect. It was a very short drive for me to come here and you're only minutes from the beach here. So that is fantastic. All right, David. So how many bedrooms is this house? This house has four bedrooms. It has a upstairs, I don't know what you'd call it, not a loft, but it, like a little living room area upstairs. Yeah. The downstairs has a uh, living room plus another seating area. Right. And it has what I believe one time was a kitchen, even though they kind of took the kitchen out and they have the dirty kitchen outside. So we just okay. use that. Well, we're going to take a look at that. So right away, you'll see, look how you know modern looking it is look how sparkling and clean and it almost looks brand new but actually david uh planned to stay not just for six months or something like at least two years and so he actually put his own money in to make it look the way it looks now because it does look almost like a brand new place because of what the work you've done into it right you've done work on the the gate yes we rebuilt this entire gate got the um the hinges reset and it's funny that the day I moved in from Elo Elo to here, we had the truck and we were moving in. This gate was open and it fell off. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just in time. It just fell down, broke. So I had to call the guy back. They came back and they redid the gates. And uh, a little thing that, that James from Texas Filipino showed me, he had them drill holes. He stopped down here for a little while. We drill holes inside here and then I just dump mortar oil in there to kind of help the... Yeah. So we redid this whole gate. As you can see, we painted the whole thing. We did the uh, the walkthrough gate there, and you can see I pressure washed the entire sidewalk because you can see what it did look like down there. All right, fantastic. Well, let's go on in here, get out of this beating sun. There is a nice breeze at some heights, but uh, once you get in the subdivision, it's a little less breezy. Okay, so right away, this is this, was this a dirty kitchen or no? It's no, just like a kind of a planting area. I okay, believe. yeah. It has the hose set up right there. I put in that little uh, solar light. Right. Um, and I, you even replaced all those lights. Yes, I replaced all the lights here. We, uh, I got me one a pole saw, which they don't know what that is here either. We cut some of these limbs off, cleaned that up. I built this beautiful little walkway here. Oh yeah, see I see, I see. People would like me to come and build one for them. Wow, <laughs> wow. I don't think they could afford you, yeah, let's be honest. That, that, we just, that was left over, so we just put it, so when it rains, you don't have to walk through the mud if you're going through. Uh, we repainted this whole wall all the columns now yeah. uh, a lot of some of these windows were leaking so i caulked them you got me a barbecue grill you, you do one of those you do the landlady still has left some stuff over this is still her stuff and i noticed when you picked me up and met me at the 7-eleven this is a beautiful bike so i do have uh i just bought this last month it's a honda adv 160. i paid 168,000 for it which is you know, around $3,000. That's beautiful. It's, for here, this is one of the, from what I've seen, I mean, I actually bought it because I like the way it oh, looks. That's yeah, okay. it's one of the nicest looking bikes I've ever seen. So, yeah, so for here, this is, I told James I thought it was one of the bigger bikes, but this also comes in like a 350 and something else. And he said there was other bigger bikes, but I really don't see them. You usually see that, like a Click 125 or that's something, right, on yeah. smaller bikes. Yeah. But I did, I put the cargo gate on there. I put this on there <coughs> i put these little oh yeah uh oh, first the, a brand new seat the handlebars the brake levers okay so none of that red. stock none yeah, of that yeah. is stock i redid you know we, we uh, so it didn't look this cool when you got it this is a car play and <coughs> if, if anybody from the states knows that car play now is comes with like all of your your new vehicles 
Okay, so just like in a car, obviously you can connect your phone, all that good stuff, right? There's a way to come on. So it also has a camera, a front camera, and you can swipe it in front and back cameras. <clears throat> and it takes a SIM card and you can, you know, you record whatever. Sure. But as soon as I got it outside in the sun, of course, I you can't see it. <laughs> oh, makes sense. Makes I sense. like it because when I put the, the back camera on, I can see behind me because as you know, and I think you, you mentioned it in one of your last videos about in the states you you expect someone to stop here sure. you do, don't expect anything from anybody yeah don't don't, don't <coughs> presume no, yeah. no presumptions here so yeah really really nice bike that's beautiful and uh oh, yeah so, like this bamboo stuff they li did leave some of this bamboo uh, furniture but we went ahead and, and i picked this up from imperial i put this up i spent i think it was over it might have been over a hundred thousand pesos when i got done with imperial those are pretty expensive when they're empty. I think it was like 3000 or something just for the tank. Oh, we wow. haven't even gone through in a tank in. It's been like almost three months. Wow. So we picked this up. This is just a little dish dryer for the yep. dishes, you know, stuff to hang everything. Yeah. So then you come through here. I got some extra little things here and there. I put up the solar lights with the motion detectors. I got a bug zapper. For some reason, mosquitoes really like this area. Sure. So, got a new ladder. <clears throat> now there's a second little area here with a sink where I put my working stuff. This used to be where their kitchen, I believe, was. Right. Did you see? They have a little cooker down there. Yeah, and, and this is set up so that it, oh, yeah. you know, goes out. This is a plug for the pump. This does not get city water. This has a well. So. Normally the water goes out when I'm taking a shower for some reason. I don't know what that is, but then you have to plug it in, wait for the tank upstairs to kind of fill up again and you start all over. Huh. So here's the pump and the well. And if it goes out completely, you have the hand pump, which does work. But you gotta like dump some water down there and prime it. Wow, sure. But yeah, so we went through, I pressure washed everything, pressure washed the walls, we repainted the walls are very cheap. If anybody lives in the States, usually you can pop a sliding glass door up and because it's just got that one little hook. So I put these on there. Get on. Oh, I see. Oh, that's a big spider. Yeah. So see, that will open. You press that down, I drill the hole in there, and yeah. that's going to hold this. And it's key. So it's and then knowing, being in the States, which you usually have a piece of wood, I'm going to cut some uh, PVC pipe and put it on the other side to kind of reinforce that at night because there's no bars or nothing. There really hasn't been any problems here, but I see like little stuff like this and maybe at one time someone tried to jimmy that open. So then as you come up here, like I said, you have your planning area that they had. Yeah. So this is definitely a really good sized living space. It's not like a lot of places, this is all you would get. You, but you here, you have this big, big, large area. And I like it. I, I'm not a big fan of this hard <laughs> furniture because you don't really use it much. This Maybe if you cushion it. But. I said, yes, this, this was left over from then, so. Yeah. And you have uh, that TV there. Did you just get that or you've had that since no, you I've lived in Iloilo? Since I was in Iloilo, bought it at Imperial. Oh, okay. That's a nice size TV. It's beautiful. And is that an air pressure? Yes. Okay. So, so this has been going about, I usually empty about every two days and you see it really and then suck some water up in there. Okay, that's, that's great. How, Remove the humidity. Crazy humid in there. Yeah. And so everything you pretty much did, right? It didn't have other than this stuff? Yes, everything here is, is mine. Right. All and the pictures, all the hanging, everything. Yeah. The air con, the split con I put in as well. Two and a half horsepower, correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. And so this dining room table, was that here? Yes. Okay, so at least you had here. something. Now this is where the kitchen, there was nothing here. So we bought the cabinets. I bought the countertop. The countertop is like 12,000 pesos just so everything looked good. Yeah. I bought the, an induction heat cooker, all this stuff, the refrigerator. Right. So basically, though, the part that you won't be able to take with you is the cabinet. So this has got about 300 no, bucks. It's all mine. Oh, you can take it with yeah. you? Oh, okay, okay. So it's, is it like nailed or down? Yeah, or? This, is, this is one piece. I think it's three pieces. This is one piece, and I think this is a piece. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so it's just like any other furniture, like having a giant dresser. Yeah. So yeah, take it with you. You got one CR this already, the, uh, yep, this is and the laundry, stairs, and that's the uh, washing machine that yeah. I bought. Okay, good. But not having a kitchen, we uh, luckily at first you had a lot of stuff in here, 
but she finally came and got it. We repainted this, all of this, and this is where I kind of keep the. Oh, stuff. I see storage, but it is a guest bedroom essentially. Oh, look at this! And I did get a bought a little tracer. Oh, is, nice! It really helped, and I was surprised that it's good for the S and R trips. For the yeah, that's exactly what I use it for. When we just had the power out for like twelve hours, the stuff in there still stayed. Oh yeah, frozen. Keep it closed. You're gonna be good. Yep. Fantastic. I'm gonna show you something real quick. Just so this will come, you'll understand later. This is called an icy breeze. It's like a regular cooler. You fill it up past this line right here. Yep. And this is kind of like an almost like an aircon AC. Oh. It has a battery. You hook the battery up. You can pull this out and hook it up the other things, and it blows cold air. There's three. It's a low, medium, and high, and it will blow cold air on you. So good you for power use, outage. Yes. Nice. And you'll see. How, of course, the batteries are a little expensive. Hundred bucks. Okay. <laughs> okay. So yeah, but I did pay about six hundred dollars for that. And and did it last a long time? How long did that last? So one battery lasted four hours. Oh, that's great. And the second battery I think lasted about three, but they had been sitting a while, so I don't know how if they were right completely charged up. Right. All right, let's go on up. I love these stairs going up here. Huge windows right at the top there. Of course. A lot of times the houses don't have really big windows and stuff like that because it, generally people are just trying to keep their electricity as cheap as possible. So as foreigners are used to big windows, having great light and everything else, and then we come here and everybody's got it like so dark inside. It's about function, right? Where we're like, oh, we'll pay a little 20 bucks more in electricity just to have this big open space with lots of natural light. So yeah, it's a little conflicting thing. Oh yeah, you see, you have good size, good ceiling heights in here too, and, and it's coffered ceilings. I do have Starlink. Hey, he's got the Starlink going on over here. I, I don't think you need to have it all like that, do you? Well, sometimes this keeps telling me that you need to move it and get it closer and whatever for downstairs. Oh, uh, okay. So I've heard some complaints about their right their modem. But there's no reason why you couldn't put like an extender down there. No, if I had enough line, I could run it down because this runs right to the thing outside. Right, but I mean, like you could add a Wi-Fi extender. Yeah. Plug it into a wall socket downstairs, connect it to this like a phone, and then pick up off of that, right? So. All right, so this furniture, I guess, came with it yes. as well. This is a big landing area. Like, yes, you've got a TV up here. You could definitely use it as a sitting area. Obviously, it's going to be hotter up here. So then you got the little... I tell you, you did these magnets too, right? You get them off Lazada yeah. or whatever? Yep. Yeah. Amazon. Amazon, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I got them. I never the put them screens. in. All right, so we got a balcony here to the neighborhood. It's quite nice. And you'll notice how quiet it is. Now, the neighbor does have a dog that barks a lot, but sure. I don't really hear him at night. Yeah. You don't hear a lot of chickens and goats, and, even though they're here, but you don't really hear them a lot. Very nice. Now, you come in. This house is quite large. I, I, I'm really impressed. This is the master bedroom. Now, this is the uh, building. Okay, you see the sliding glass door here? Right, and you see that? Yep. So, that opens that far. Oh, because the air conditioner is here. Exactly. Wow. Wow, that's, yeah. <laughs> so I can't fit out there. Yeah. It's almost like they should have just popped out that one window down there or something, <laughs> yeah. so that it, it just hangs over and then it wants the bottle just drip down there. You get your balcony without an air conditioner sticking into it. So we, uh, or put it up there actually. Yeah, somewhere. Yeah. So we bought the bed. There was no beds. It does have cabinets. The um, I put a uh, a power pump and the hot water heater. I didn't even really know about them little power pumps for the water pressure. The thing is like ten bucks, and it really really helps out. Oh, wonderful. I didn't even know about this. And so you don't read concerned because I get a lot of comments on this stuff about this. No, I don't. Right? That's the humidity going in that, that kind of thing. You're not saying it's electrical shock or anything, right? I'm sure some people, I mean, the one in the condo had a breaker and all that kind of stuff. Look at the closets here. So that's nice to have it all built in like that. And what, what, sorry, what was that back? It's just another storage area. Oh, okay. So you got another storage area back in here. So it's it's pretty decent. It's a good size. I love the corner window sort of thing. Yeah, obviously that's a weird situation. Don't, don't look out the back window yet. All right. No looking at the back window. Fair enough. So this is just another area that I... Okay. So yeah, it's a 
Uh, it's a bedroom that's already, oh, they got cabinets in here as well. Yep. And you're roughed in for air conditioning, but not one in here. But it's a, you know, it's a decent size spare bedroom and anyway. Third, this bathroom needed help. Uh, we put in a new shower. I hooked up the, the drain on the sink wasn't working, but the water line doesn't go through to the toilet. So the toilet doesn't fill up with water, but I quit work. There's, there's you're like, pipes, I got a bucket. These pipes fall apart. So getting back to the icing room. Oh yeah. So when it was, the power was off for 12 hours, I bought this in the States and this was my plan that you get one of these bed tents. This hooked up to the icy breeze and I had cold air blowing in there thinking it would fill up with the cold air. Sure. It really didn't. I think air just flows right through them. Oh but no. It still was cold enough that I could sleep. Right. I okay. had cold air blowing okay. on me. Yeah, it's on this would be good for camping too. <laughs> yeah. Plus I had the little light, you know. Oh, nice, so nice. A little battery operated light that you can put out. You can have a little disco if you want. <laughs> But you could take it camping. I yeah, of course. You could take this camping. That's fantastic. I can't say I've ever even seen something like that. In concept, it sounds like it'd be amazing. That's what I said. But like you said, it's all the fabric. Yeah, it depends. It it's really of, thin. So yeah, it doesn't really hold the, the cold air in. But right. I mean, and then I put that air con in here as well. Because okay. this is where we couldn't get that bed took a while to be delivered. So we went ahead and bought this one. And we stayed in here until that was delivered. So yeah, so this house is perfectly located. We're gonna go over to the market and you'll see, okay, when you're at that market, we're, just imagine, we're only two minutes from the market, from the town square. So you don't need, you don't even need a motorbike if you don't want to. Um, and so not very far from the beach here. You, there's a good community out here, right? Yes. Yeah, there's good community out here. And what is the price? I am currently paying 17,000 pesos a month, which is around a little over 300. Yeah. I was paying, 25,000 for the condo, which was basically like a two bedroom and condo. It tell was people biggest. which one it is, because there's people that have never been, I've never seen it. Uh, one spatial. One spatial condo, yes. It's there you go. Right on the river. And so that was about 450, 460. So okay. it's about $150 left, less. That, yeah, cheaper. So a little condo, yes. right? What, is yes. it one bedroom, you said? Uh, it was a two bedroom they oh. modified into a one bedroom. So okay. So either way, so it was technically a two bedroom. So it was still small though. Yes, right? and there is a friend of mine, and James is that doesn't live far from me that has a house that has, I believe it's a three bedroom. And he's paying, I think either the same or a little less than I'm paying right now. So they are out there. If you if you look, if you need to yeah. really need to know people. And yeah. that's how you find houses. <laughs> yeah, and also in this case, since he was gonna stay here two years, when he saw the place, obviously he imagined what it's gonna look like after he spruced it up a bit because it didn't look like this no, it did not. right exactly so he put the effort in but he knew that he was going to stay at least two years so he said made the negotiation based on that that okay it's going to be two years and this is what i'm going to do to your property that kind of thing because they wanted 20. yes right and so that, that that was part of the negotiation process and everything so if you do find something and honestly you might be thinking oh yeah but why would i spend something all that money on somebody else's place it's your own sanity so how much is your own sanity going to be worth for those two years, divided by the 24 months, is is that a fair price? And if you're like, wait a minute, so I spent $100 extra a month, but I have everything I want, and I'm sane, and I'm just not worried, and I'm just living my best life, a lot of people would see the value in that. And also, you want to check with a homeowner or whatever about electricity. Because if you find a place that's $200 less, but the electric bill is two hundred dollars more. Well, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then there, you're a foreigner. You come in and you're going to pump it even higher. That two hundred dollars more might be four hundred dollars more. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. All right. So we're going to go down and see this uh, square and everything. We're going to show you what Tig Bowen looks like at the same time. We're going to make this a one awesome video. Yeah, you got a little surprise for me. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I, I, I just finished saying the market's that far, and he has a back door. <clears throat> Is a back door that takes you straight out to the market. That's incredible. How cool is that? And you do have to deal with garbage trucks. 
It, yeah, well, I guess. Yeah, there's some garbage trucks here. But so, yeah, but it, it's really sealed off back here. So mm -hmm. it's not really, you, so couldn't, you wouldn't even know that's his house. That's incredible. So, and you look at that. You don't even need to go far for building materials. Yeah, the building, there's a grocery store down there, barber shop down there. And is the market every day or is it certain days? Said this Sundays, it's in the streets like this. Okay. During the week, it's, you'll see there's a lot more of it. All, right. all up there, that hole upstairs is Uka Uka. Uka Uka. Yes. And is, is, is this market's still under construction, right? You can uh, see here. I think they're still. Yeah. In Eventually, they want to move everybody into these stalls, I yes. think. Yeah. Every single town is doing construction on their markets, trying to modernize them, that kind of thing. All right. Well, this is so cool. Which way are we going to go? All right. I love these really low tarps. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I. I shouldn't blame hey, them. They're making it for 99% of the population. They don't have to make it for me. Look at the fish. Hello, hello. Oh, I, my, I don't live here, so I don't we can do anything with them. But look at that squid. Fantastic. Uh, are you a popular guy around here? No. No? Hi. Hello, how are you? Lots of fish, lots of vegetables. Oh, look at that. We've got tomatoes, peppers. Looks fantastic. What's this? What's that called? I think they, they think we're ordering it, and I meant to ask what it is. That's okay. No, no, no. I was asking you what it was. No. It looked like. I don't know. Uh, I, I, I don't need it. I'm sorry. I, I just came on a motorbike, so I, I can't bring my all this vegetable. But thank you. All right. You just misunderstood me. Onions and garlic and potatoes. See, this guy's got the best table because those are the most expensive items. And over here you got eggplants, everything. Oh, so much fresh vegetables. You don't have to go to the grocery store for vegetables, no. Plus it's always cheaper, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. For vegetables than going to the market. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. So as you can see, not my hat. I keep pointing that out. You can't be as tall as I am and then uh, make your way through the market. They're not all that low though. This one's okay. Never mind. Never mind. That got really low. But the shade. You know what? I'd rather have the shade than anything else. That has more value to me. Hello, hello everybody. Good morning. Wow. Okay. So this is so cool. You literally just go through your backyard and straight out into the market. Everything you need is already here. Hello. Um. Yeah, and a lot there is all fish too, right? Yeah. So you can come up this way. Because basically this is gonna keep this going. Is Sunday, yeah. All right. Well, that's basically it for here, but that's not even the market. This wow. is just Sunday. Wow. This is the market. Wow. Okay. First, here you have fish and you have pork. Yeah, I can smell it. That's a lot of fish. Hello. Good morning. Wow. And so. Every, you think, okay, they're all the same, they're all the same, but they're not actually, because they'll, they'll have their the, the fish that are more plentiful in that area. So, and plus, this is very early in the morning still enough that I'm actually seeing a lot more than I usually do because it's usually by noon by the time I'm in. And everybody still has a lot of fish. Hello, everybody, hello. And oh, there's crab over there too. The prices are ridiculous though, by the way. You just negotiate, you can get so cheap in price for now fish. the pork area. Oh, the pork area, yeah. Oh yeah, and a lot of people say right away like, oh my god, no refrigeration, those kind of things. Um, no, because it was slaughtered this morning. So it's okay to have it in this process because it's going to be cooked that day or refrigerated finally once you bring it home. And so the process is actually quite safe and uh, it, you don't need to worry too much about that stuff. It's, it's actually quite clean, quite safe because it's all gone by the end of the day. Yeah, I think Bowen's got a big market. It's very bustling. Hello. And then when the second floor is done. Oh, it's nice and cool in here too. All right, I like this. There's no tarp. I can fit. Pretty nice. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Hello, brother. I love these markets. So this, this is a nice one. I like it. It's very cool in here. And uh, yeah, this is where you're gonna save a lot of money. How are you, brother? Doing good? Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And a food court, of course. You don't have to go far. If you don't want to cook, no problem. They'll do it all for you here. Okay, so you know when a town is having a fiesta, when you see all of these stalls 
being set up like this because what do they love to do during fiestas? They love to gamble. And so you can come in here and gamble on your numbers. Uh, wow, that looks like you, they... Dude, they put a guinea pig inside that little thing and they spin this. And, and then, whatever hole he decides to go into... In is what oh mean. my God, that, that is true randomness right there. That's pretty cool. Oh wow, I've never, I've never ever seen it that way, ever. I think, I think he's trained. <laughs> there you go, and if you need your machetes, they got them for you, they got them. So yeah, household supplies. We walked by a whole bunch of kids' toys and everything, but my camera is getting quite hot. Ooh, it hit my head. Okay, so these got wood here. Uh, I gotta watch my head. Hello. So yeah, these wouldn't be here when they later on tonight, obviously, when they're actually doing the bedding, so. Wow, it's like a maze in here though, really. We've been going a while. If you need a good bolo. Yeah, oh, a bolo, yeah. Machete bolo. I'm gonna watch my head now. Lots of rope. Of course, lots of fishermen, so you're gonna have a lot of rope. There you go, need some tools? They've got a bunch. Wow. So, th and that's so cool that you think about it. We're only, technically, if you have a car, you can go a little faster, but you might be 30 minutes from Iloilo City. And uh, for me, right from my house was about 45 minutes. That's pretty good. So tell me, do you have a favorite watering hole? I uh, do not, actually. I don't know. Still looking for one? Yeah, there isn't a lot that I know well, of. Is, is James going to probably invest in one maybe and <laughs> yeah. go into business? Build himself a nice little watering hole along the water? I think, well, when he gets done with his house and makes it an Airbnb, then he'll be... <laughs> yeah, then he can have it as a watering hole also. All right, so here you go. Here's the municipality town hall here. It's a Sunday, so it shouldn't be too, too crazy. Zumba as well. Of course, the Zumba. Zumba. You gotta have Zumba. U.S. Army. Wow. So this is like an old, uh, donated probably by the U.S. too, right? I have no idea. I'm gonna guess if it has a bunch of U.S. Army stuff on it. Old children's playground park over here. That's really amazing. It's quite nice. I bet at night. Well, actually, I've driven by this at night. It really is pretty at night. They love their lights in Philippines. They do. They love their lights in the Philippines for sure. They love, well, they love the season, the Christmas, and look at the old Tigbowan church. Wow. That has a lot of original stones still going on in that. And you can tell how old it is. Now, all these towns out here, they're very, very, very old. Some of the most beginning stuff for the Western Visayas is down this way. And you're talking about like Garen and Sam, Sam Joaquin, Tigbowan. The church is here, incredibly old. A lot of history here. It's really pretty. That is the, uh, I know the basketball courts and all that. Yeah, stuff. and then they got the story of Tigbawan here, where you see right through there, and you see there you have uh, Santa Nino there, you got the people, the harvest, you have, what do you have over here? Yeah, a guy riding a carabao here, but then you got the veterans, so the whole war period and everything. So it kind of gives the whole history of Tigbawan there. Is this a fountain? It looks like a fountain. Uh, I believe it is. Yeah. Well, they probably only do it at night. Yeah, and probably not during Christmas when they have so much other things going on because a lot of electricity and everything's running through this area. <laughs> oh, and you could sit up there too. That's uh, a coffee shop. A coffee shop. Oh, that's cool. Milk tea. Yeah, I can see there. Yeah, you're right. The, the whole place is a coffee shop. Okay, so there you go. This is a good idea of what the center of Tigbawan is. It's obviously not a huge town or anything. I think it's fourth class or something too, right? Sure, One of the smaller ones. Yeah, it is. Um, but, and that, but that was what makes it very quaint. He's, he's literally attached to it. Walk down the street here. Can we go down there to the water? Yeah. Let's go down to the water. Let's go see what their waterfront looks like. All right, so we just got finally out of the market. Hey, brother, how are you? And uh, they have another grocery store here. You know, it's a quaint, quaint little town. And uh, so right down basically where we stop seeing any buildings, is that where it's, the water is? Pretty much. It's okay, so that's not bad. Market's right there, we just left it. Just to give you an idea of how far away it is. The thing is, is I've never actually stayed in Tibgawin or anything like that, except I did stay at Bearland. Did you? Of course, there was a storm that time. So my trip there was, <laughs> it was just pouring rain, lots of wind and that kind of thing. Still enjoyed it, but it wasn't like, we weren't able to really enjoy it. Um, but that's it. I, I never did anything in town because Tibgawin's kind of like on the outskirts. Yeah, there's really, there's... That's not nice house. anything at night. <laughs> it's probably not much to... No, so you got to get a few expats to move out here and you guys can start something. 
Start yeah. yourself a tiki bar. Yeah. Everybody hang out at it. All right, we're down at the waterfront. That's Gimaris, straight out. Gim, Gim, Gimaras, Gimaras. You gotta say it right. Hello, guys. So as you can see down here, they don't have much going on for their area. There's a little bit of a beach. It's a little bit rocky. Oh, there's some sand down there too, though. Um, but it, it's not one of the areas yet. Otan is getting all redone. So I'm sure Tigbowen will get it eventually too, where this all be constructed eventually with, you know, the whole uh, Esplanade stuff. Everything is being done in the Philippines that way. It's all being foreign funded, most of it, for climate change. And it will go up and around and everything. So for now, there's not much down here to, uh, you know, no bars or restaurants or anything I can see. But uh, I think, give it a few years, the investments will happen. The government will come in, expropriate all that land there, and, and they'll build something and then people will come. So what's that place straight ahead? That's the Marine that is, that College? The, uh, yes, the um, all right. Marine College. So yeah, if you want to learn how to be a merchant marine type thing or a marine, uh, what do you call them? Uh, seaman, a seaman. That's the, the school for it down there. And there's actually a beach right beside it there where I can see people out swimming, hanging out in the water. So there you go, Tig Bowen. It's a cute little town, still very, very, very affordable. And uh, we saw a lot of places here. You're probably not going to find them online, all of them. So if you just came down here and start asking, because you'll see a house that, you know, clearly nobody's living in it at the time and it it looks pretty decent, just start talking to all the neighbors and the sorry sorries and everything. Somebody around there will be like, yeah, I know that. That's my brother or my cousin or something. And you can get in and find out, you know, how much they would want and negotiate and figure something out. Hello, guys. Hi. Happy New Year, brothers. Happy New Year. Hey, hi. Woo. Okay, so it's actually pretty still early. It's mid-afternoon, but I have so much to do because I leave for Roja City tomorrow. But once again, thank you very much. This was excellent. Being able to rent this just for one day. Young man, are you going to grow up and be a basketball star? Are you going to be shy all of a sudden? Uh, I know how to play basketball a little bit, but I have to learn new skills. Well, yeah, you're still young. you got a lot of time. And this is the pretty, pretty doggy. Hello, baby, with your be beautiful blue eyes. Yes, you are. So cute. Okay, so yeah, so the next time you'll see me, I'll be heading off to Roja City. Thank you very much for joining. Hopefully you're subscribed. We're going to hit that 25. So thank you very much. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. This is the life. This is the kind of life I've kind of always wanted. When we were looking for a place to live and what we always thought of, even when we were in Canada, the thing we were thinking of is, okay, we want to live by the beach. We want to be near a city so that we have the conveniences that we're all used to, you know, that kind of thing. And, I don't know, we wanted the quiet life with the ability to find the fast-paced life. Does that make sense? Of course, you need to worry about health.